BK from ManforWars.com here on Thursday, April 9th, 2020, downtown Toronto, Canada, just uh, 6.55 p.m. And uh, just uh, north of, uh, of uh, Young in Adelaide, and I'm promoting play patriotism and making sure you can unite your people against the evil globalist uh, United Nations and World Health Organization and Communist China. They're kind of satellite uh, evil puppet creature they created nothing against the average joe and jane chinaman um but uh but uh but the the government's evil and everybody knows it and uh and and uh, and so uh, nice polite patriotic people they respect each other communicate well and teach kids to and then poor sketchy people that may, that act rude and sketchy and that force you to put up with and act like them because you can't just look at that shit uh and they won't do anything with you if you don't put up with an act like them but if you do, then you can't do anything with each other. You can't respect each other. You can't pay attention to each other. So then they run around shaking near strangers like zombie wants brains. Zombie makes another zombie, right? I don't want you to think this is my wife. I don't want you to think this is my, my bitchy, sketchy, ugly wife. You know, and we're arguing. And they're a bitchy, sketchy, ugly mess in public. And, uh, and, and, and there's nothing I can say or do. I'm just impotent while they're a bitchy, sketchy, ugly mess in public, making uh, everyone uncomfortable. You know what I mean? I don't want you to think that, right? Just uh, a poor, sketchy person just does that near people. It knows you're not going to like it. It doesn't care. And yet, it can still do it in a nice place to live if other polite, patriotic Canadians and other people around the world can save where they live. Then you just politely ignore them. Or they don't bother them back. They don't like that. You don't pay attention. They don't want to be embarrassed. You know, that's all they can do. So you politely ignore them. If it's people you know, you can help them stop. Stranger, nothing. It's okay. You know, if they, they don't care about people they know. They don't, they don't treat them nice enough to pay attention to them anymore. And then they go do it near strangers. So nothing. It's okay. What are you supposed to do? No, it's fine. You play Canadian, don't be a jerk. They'll finish. Since I was a kid, uh, you know, all the polite Canadians used to politely look away, look at their newspaper on the subway, and, and look away, and they'd just run around shaking, and they'd run away. Nobody bothered them back. Nobody bothered anybody else. And, uh, and everyone was happier. Everyone relaxed, feel better. You feel better. They feel better. So that's just how things turned out. Now, hopefully they can stop. Hopefully people they know can help them stop. Otherwise, it's all they can do. Some people get like that. They act rude and sketchy, and they won't do anything with you if you don't put up with an act like them. But if you do, you can't do anything. You can't pay attention. You can't be nice to each other. Everybody got problems, but they cause problems, so nobody can solve them. And then they're just a mess, right? And then they're a mess near each other, and they can't do much. Then they're a mess near strangers. So, but as a man, I know. Got to make sure I'm cool. Other people are cool. Where I am, where I live is cool. Girls got to put us in good mood and make babies. After that, that's it. That's all you got to do. Then just do whatever you want. Rich, funny smart, dumb, fat, skinny, you know, uh, whatever. It's all, just whatever, do whatever you want. You just got to get the basics done, right? So, I don't know, poor sketchy person. They act rude and sketchy, and if you don't do it with them or put up with an act like them, they won't do anything with you. But if you do, you can't do anything with each other. You can't be nice and pay attention to each other anymore, so then they go do it near strangers, right? I don't want you to think it's my wife or something. It's a bitchy, sketchy mess in public while I'm impotent. Can't say or do anything. Everyone's uncomfortable. It just does that near everybody. And you can't do anything with it anymore. And then it does near strangers. So, oh no, but if, if polite Canadians and others save where they live from the evil globalist UN, World Health Organization, and Communist China, then at least they can do that in a nice place and be ignored by nice people in a nice place as opposed to in some sort of communist uh, control system shithole which, uh, which seems to be being imported here. So... So just passing south of Young and King. And heading towards Young and Wellington. Things fairly quiet there. All right, well, I'm only allowed, as uh, like, all, like all prisoners trapped in solitary, like the scum of the earth, like the worst of the worst, the worst of the worst, serial killers, terrorists, murderers, child traffickers, right? Unless you execute them, they're typically given the bare minimum one hour a day outside of solitary confinement just to keep their cardiovascular system in decent shape, just to get a little bit of sun, and, uh, and then from there, they're not a bigger drain on the prisonplanet.com healthcare system. They don't go to the infirmary with this, that, and the other. They get the bare minimum allowed outside, and then back in the hole, right? So, you know, I gotta make sure to take advantage of that. You know, just do the bare minimum that you're, that you're allowed. Right?
so and here at Young and King oh it's okay flight games respect each other to save us from the UN World Health Organization uh, Communist China those policies coming here then we'll be fine right you can you can eat the fight otherwise and then poor sketchy people that make you do it until you can't do it with each other and do it near strangers they can at least do it in a nice place to live if I put up with this, you're not going to like it. Yeah, yeah, I'll ignore it, please. I'd rather be ignored than embarrassed or bothered. Thank you. You know, then they can at least do it in a nice place to live. Not doing some controlled communist shithole, you know, being being created here after they practiced, uh, you know, with communist China. You know, and fucked over those people. we got to save our people, and we got to save those people, and we got to get rid of uh, the rich, evil, super evil globalists, and we got to get rid, get rid of their bodies that make policies. The UN, World Health Organization, nobody voted for these people. At most, they should run a Starbucks. Trudeau, Trump, Merkel can go there to talk. They're not, hey, this is what you're all going to do. Who the fuck are you? Right? But hey, we got we to gotta be deep with it. Not rude, sketchy. Have it up with me. Then act like me. Okay, now we can't do anything. Now go do it near strangers. Even if you want to do that, do it in a nice place. And let people save a nice place for you to do that. As opposed to, you know, not letting that happen. Otherwise, they can't do that in a nice place. Not enough people to bother. Everyone's locked up under quarantine. So you can't run shaking near hundreds of people a day and bother them. You can only run shaking near a couple of dozen, right? So, so even if you're a zombie, zombie wants brain. Zombie sees nice person. Zombie bothers him acting sketchy. He's always making another zombie. If you want to do that all day, at least you can, you know, under quarantine. It's hard, right? Most people aren't around, right? And uh, and then uh, and then and then if the place turns into an evil communist shithole, then it won't be a nice place anyway. So. Oh, no relation. I don't really think it's my ugly ass wife. We were arguing and there's still a bitchy, sketchy mess in public while I'm impotent. Can't say or do anything very insulting. This is a sketchy person. Or somebody else's wife, let them take care of it. I wouldn't recommend being impotent either. I'd recommend what's wrong or let's talk about it or if you really won't, fuck it. Bros get to tripping like that. Man, check these bros later. Go for a walk, go for a drive, come back in an hour, they calm down. You can deal with what they're all worked up about if they won't let you help. Or, or hoes get to tripping. It doesn't happen often. With my girlfriends, once in a while, well, this is totally out of control. No, you can say or do, bitchy, sketchy. Oh, fuck this, I'm out of here. What the hell are we hanging out for? No, don't you leave. Think about it, think about it. Back in an hour. And boom, gone. They come back, they calm down. You can talk about what they're all worked up about. You know? Say no big deal. Yeah. Who are you? Get a polite Canadian man. What? Did you say Batman? Can you speak up? No, polite Canadian man. No. Can you speak up a bit? No, it sounds cooler. If you keep your voice low and gravelly. Polite Canadian man. Dun, 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 dun. When the polite Canadian signal goes up, see the flag in the sky, you show up out of nowhere, Commissioner Gordon's like, wow, how do you do that? And you leave, and uh, Batman's cleaning some garbage up somewhere else. I, he's got his own thing going on. I don't even, I don't wear the gas tights. I wear a nice sh shirt and tie. And so, um, but yeah, polite, polite Canadian man. Who? Polite Canadian man. Dun, 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 dun. Not Batman. Can you speak up? I can't speak up. It sounds cooler this way. Polite Canadian man. Dun, 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 dun. And then it's fine. And then poor sketchy people make you put up with an act like them until you can't do anything with each other and then you go do it near strangers. You know, they can at least do it in a nice place to live. And all the nice, polite Canadians and others around the world can at least save a nice place to live instead of turning into a UN, World Health Organization, Communist China run uh, a shithole, right? With Communist China style control systems, they practiced that there, they fucked over those people. Now they're like, hey, practice makes perfect, now let's fuck you people. And so we gotta, we gotta stop that, right? You can unite your people, then less local bitching and snitching, you know, is like, oh, we gotta stop that. At least save a nice place. And people still want to have run around shaking near nice people. At least there's a bunch around going out, having fun, politely ignoring them. No one's bothered or embarrassed. It's okay. Oh, well, no, you're not blamed or embarrassed. No one thinks it's your ugly ass wife. You're arguing and now they're a bitchy, sketchy mess in public and you're just impotent. Can't say or do anything. You know what I mean? If you have nothing to do with it, then it's okay. Then everyone feels better. You don't bother them back. They don't like that. You don't pay attention. They don't want to be embarrassed. You politely ignore it. And everyone around relax and feel better. They like being ignored and want to stop. Everyone relax, feel better, mind their business, or know it's safe to be nice to you. Now you can be nice to them. And uh, and then other people, you know, around, you know, feel better. You have a little self-respect. Don't be a mess for yourself or other people. Oh, no, no relation. Poor, sketchy person. Sometimes people get like that. They act rude and sketchy, and they won't do anything with you. If you don't 
put up with and act like them acting rude and sketchy. But if you do, you can't do anything with each other because you can't pay attention. It's rude and sketchy, shut up, don't say anything, do anything. And then you can't do anything with each other, then they go do it near strangers. Oh no, they don't care about social distancing, they care about making zombies. Their social life is zombies. Their social life is running, shaking near hundreds of people a day who don't like it, trying to barely force you to see them look ugly and run away. So now, with the quarantine, they're down to a few dozen. So they're just desperate. You know, normal stuff, being nice to people, minding your business, feeling happy, looking at, talking to people, that's all. You can't do any of that stuff. Acting rude and sketchy all the time. So, so their social life is acting rude and sketchy till you act rude and sketchy, because you can't just look at that shit, it's too gross. And then, uh, and then when you can't look at each other, do anything with each other, they go do it near strangers. And so even those people should have a nice place to live to do it in. All the nice, polite, patriotic people politely ignore it, get along with each other, everyone happier. No big deal, right? So, well, yeah, they have to force you to put up with them until you don't like it. And then they have to force strangers to put up with you who don't like it. And you can't really do much with them. And then they go do it, you know, that's life, right? But at least they can do it in a nice place. You know, at least they're not, not some, you know, United Nations, World Health Organization, Communist China run, globalist shithole where we're all tracked and searched and drugged and chipped and uh, controlled biometrics and, you know, vaccines with a microchip in them and can't leave your house unless you do this. And government says all you can do about a flu is wash your hands, stay away from people and stay home. It's like, man, you've been working on this for six months. That's all you got? No oh, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc. What about, you know, all this shit? No, that's all we got. Fuck you. You don't make any sense, right? So, but zombie social life Zombie social life is bothering people until they bother you, and then you can't do anything bothering strangers. That's zombie social life. So that's, that's what they do. Well, they can't. Even if they have a problem, they can't solve them. What do you want? You want to solve their problem and they bother you for no reason? No. Everybody got problems, but if you don't cause problems, at least you can, people can help you solve them. But if all you do is you got problems, you cause problems, you're stuck. So that's the issue. So, uh, oh, no relation. Poor, sketchy person, uh, you know, makes you put up with an act like them. And if you don't do it, they won't do anything with you. If you do do it, you can't do anything with each other. So then they wander around shaking near strangers. So no relation. I don't want you to think, man, your ugly ass wife and you were arguing, and now they're still being a bitchy, sketchy mess in public, and uh, everyone around is uncomfortable. It's like, no, not mine, not mine. Just a poor mentally ill person does that with everybody. Oh, no, it's okay. You politely ignore it. Don't bother them back. They don't like it. Don't pay attention. They don't like it. They get embarrassed. You politely ignore them. They're more happier. That's how things turned out. That's how things turned out. As long as no one thinks you have anything to do with it, then everyone's nice. Everyone's nice. Everyone can, they know you're nice. They know they can be, they mind their business or it's safe to be nice to each other. No big deal. So... But otherwise, that's zombie social life. Zombie social life is acting rude and sketchy until you act rude and sketchy. And then when you can't pay attention to each other anymore, running around doing it near strangers. Well, you can't. You look at it. Like, Put up with this. You're not going to like it. I got you. I'm like, ah, forget it. So you don't pay attention. And then they go do it near strangers. But if polite, patriotic Canadians and others worldwide save where they live from being a communist, Chinese, World Health Organization, UN shithole, then at least they can do it in a nice place. At least they can do it in a nice place, right? They won't be stuck in some shithole. So, there's Toronto's finest. So you got to unite your people against the evil globalists, United Nations, World Health Organization, and Communist China uh, to make sure they're not locally bitching and snitching and fucking with each other. Everyone dependent on the government. So just uh, do more and more evil stuff to each other so you can get more government cheese, right? And, uh, and then that will be fine, right? And then poor sketchy zombies, they just bother you till you bother them and then they run around shaking near strangers, at least they can do it in a nice place and they can be ignored politely by nice people because they don't like being bothered back. They don't like you know, if you pay attention and they're embarrassed. They just like being politely ignored and then they finish running around and shaking near, near people all day, right? And everyone's happier. Well, go ahead, you, you ask them why, I dare you. They feel guilty and embarrassed and lie and argue and keep trying to bother you. No one wants to pay attention. Somebody finally does and they bother you more. So no, no point. If you live downtown, you got to be a little book smart and a little street smart. You know, you don't, you don't get involved. You know, the homeless people will tell you, don't get involved. You know, there's a reason they run around shaking near strangers while the other homeless people hang out, play Canadians, get along, play with the dog. You know what I mean? Like, there's a reason, right? They, people they know they don't care about. They act rude and sketchy and bother them. 
And then some people, strangers, they act rude and sketchy and bother them. So it's, it's you know. Sometimes people get like that. They won't do anything with you unless uh, you act rude and sketchy back and forth. But if you do, then you can't do anything with each other. You go run around shaking your strangers. So that's all they care about. No, they just want to quickly force you to see them look ugly and run away. They know it's not something you'll like. They know you're not going to like it, not going to like them. That's just their social life. Right? Not like people who don't bother each other and then, and then don't go bother strangers. If it's people you know, obviously you can try and help them stop. If it's a stranger, I think it's like bird poop. There's yucky stuff in the ground, bothers people, doesn't explain, doesn't apologize. So, you know, it is what it is. So, here we are at Dundas Square. Right, Thursday, April 9th, you know, before 6 p.m. No, no, zombie social life, zombie social life. Zombie social life is act rude and sketchy until you can't just look at that shit, you act rude and sketchy. If you don't do it, they won't do anything with you. But if you do do it, you can't do anything with each other. You can just make each other uncomfortable, then go do it near strangers. So that's the problem with this sort of zombie social life. You know, that's it. You say, hey, put on me, you're not gonna like it. Uh, yeah, no, you put on me, you're not gonna like it. Now what? Eh, let's go do it near strangers. We can't do anything with each other. So that's zombie social life, right? But they can at least do it in a nice place with nice people if polite, patriotic Canadians and other people around the world can save where they live from the evil globalists the United Nations, World Health Organization, Communist China, they're a big experiment on a billion people to lock them all down with communist control systems and then bring that same system here and export it to the rest of the world, right? I mean, you know, they made stuff for us and we gave them paper to, 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 to buy it. Now they're using that paper to buy us, right? Hey, you take Canadian dollars? You gave us a bunch of Canadian dollars for the cheap crap we gave you. Now we're buying Vancouver. It's like, what? Hey, hey, you take American dollars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. We're buying Seattle. We're buying, you know, so, the, you know, that's what they do. We're buying Hollywood. We're buying the media. We're buying whatever. Great. Here's your cheap stuff. Give us your money. Now, here's your money. Give us your stuff. Give us your country. So, that's the issue. But if polite, patriotic Canadians and others can save where they live, then uh, they can get along, be nice and polite, and teach kids to be nice ladies and gents. Don't bother people for no reason. Don't make them bother you for no reason. And when you can't pay attention to each other, you know, you go bother strangers. And then the people that still want to do that, the people that still want to act rude and sketchy, if you don't act rude and sketchy with them, they won't do anything with you. If you do act rude and sketchy with them, you can't do anything with each other. You can't pay attention, be nice, look at, talk to each other. So you go do it near strangers. People that still want to do that can at least do it in a nice place to live. Right? Be nice place, people going out, getting along, business is open, freedom, prosperity. These people getting along, these zombies see you. Ah, rude, sketchy zombie, not going to like it. Yeah, yeah. Zombie want brains of nice people, bother them. Zombie make other zombie, you know, act sketchy, bother you, right? But at least they can do it in a nice place. And you don't bother them back. They don't like that. You know, you don't pay attention. They don't like feeling embarrassed. You gladly ignore it. Since I was a kid, everyone in the subway would look at their newspaper, look away. And the poor sketchy person who couldn't explain why they were shaking near strangers would run around and run away, or they would sit somewhere nicely, right? And, you know, calm down, everyone feel better, right? Otherwise, they just want to force you to see them look ugly and run away. They just try to sneak up, they try to force you to see something ugly you're not going to like, stressful, confusing, something sketchy, spaz out. You know, that's their social life, right? Which is fine. I've never had an issue with it, right? I don't think it's something that everyone should do, but I've never had an issue with it. You know, I just you politely ignore them. Right? Just have a little self-respect, mind your business, don't be a mess for yourself, other people, you know. So, but we're at war, and you can unite your people against the evil globalists and the United Nations and World Health Organization and Communist China they built to replace the U.S. and the world role model. Not perfect, but the idea of guaranteed rights, freedom and prosperity, big house, big car, blue jeans, is better than the idea of Communist China being the new world role model. And even Chinese people don't like it. Look at the Hong Kong people, they fight it like crazy to try not to be a, a, a communist, uh, under a communist control. So we gotta do the same thing here. Those little yellow people can do it in Hong Kong. These big old hockey play white boys sure can, right? And other people sure can, right? So, um, so you know, it's important, right? Because then you can save that, right? No, and the poor sketchy people that act rude and sketchy, they won't do anything with you unless you put up with an act like them. But if you do put up with an act like them, you can't do it with each other. So you run around shaking near strangers they can at least do it in a nice place to live with nice people who don't do that, who politely ignore them, instead of bothering them back, or instead of paying attention while they're embarrassed, right? So then it's okay. Otherwise, you won't have a nice place to live. You can do it. Hey, put up with me, I'm gonna like it. Shut up. In, in what? It tracked and searched and drugged and chipped communist hellhole where you're allowed out for one hour a day, where Amazon drones deliver your fucking rations once a week, because nobody works anymore, we don't make anything, there's not enough stuff, right? 
like, you know, so it sucks, right? Otherwise, it's fine, you know? But if they have to force you to put up with them, they know you're not going to like it, and you can't do anything else with them, and then they go do it near strangers, then it's different, right? No, it's okay. Well, you, you ask them why if you want. I've been in Toronto for, for too long to know. Yeah, I know that you don't do that with people acting rude and sketchy near strangers who can't explain why. They feel guilty and embarrassed and lie and...